Woo wee! Oh man, you are gonna love it. It is such a rush. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I hear this game is pretty intense, pretty difficult as well. Nah, nah, nah. That's just a bunch of whiny baby talk. Well, but isn't playing in VR going to make it a lot more difficult? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. But you know, that's why I got you with with, with me. You know, we're buddies. You know, it's easier. Everything's easier with a buddy. You know, and we're the bestest of buds. We finish each other's sandwiches. Yes. Yes, sandwiches. And yeah, we'll find some lunch boxes when we get in raid. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what's a lunch box? Don't worry. I know it's your first time and all, but that's why you want a vet like me around to show you the ropes. I'll make sure you get a nice big head start, buddy. Uh, you sure I'm not gonna, like, stick out too much? I feel like I look kinda obvious. No, 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 you're gonna be fine. I have faith, buddy. Yeah. Ugh, that seems as good a place as any. Okay. I got some really important crap here for you. But I don't have time to explain it. But for right now, just trust me. This is good stuff. Toilet paper. Measuring tape. Toothpaste. Syringe. Let's see here. Spark plug. Box of matches. All right. Wow. Uh, that's a lot of crap. Yep. But I don't see how any of that is important. Trust me. You're going to be killing people later to get this kind of crap. All right. Now. Take all this stuff and shove it up your butt. I'll keep watch. I'm sorry? You heard me. You're gonna wanna shove it up in there, buddy. Now, I'll keep watch. I don't think I like this game anymore. No, 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 trust me, trust me. Everybody's doing it, all right, okay? Do you wanna have fun or not? I just don't think this is my idea of fun, honestly. Look, you're gonna want that up in your butt now, then wish you hadn't done it later, okay? Trust me, I'm speaking from a lot of experience here, okay? Is this what people do all day in here? I just imagine it being a lot different is all. Look, you trust me, right? Then take that stuff and shove it up your butt. Now, I'll keep watch. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. All right. Okay, got, got that one. Uh, okay, that's, that's sharp. Turn that around. Oh. 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 Okay. Wow. I didn't think that would fit. Oh, yeah. Shove it up in there. Hey, you watching? Oh, yeah. I'm watching. Dude, eyes up! Don't let me get fucking killed out here! Oh, it's fine. Besides, if anybody's gonna be out here right about now, it's gonna be some sort of- Oh my god! 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 Dude, let's go check out that body. Uh, are you sure? It's kind of out in the open, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it totally is. That's why you're gonna go check it out while I cover you. Uh, I kind of got the AR after all, and you do only have a shotgun. Well, you gave me this shotgun, and this pistol, which, by the way, isn't even real. <laughs> it's an airsoft gun. Yeah, by the time you get to using that thing, uh, you're probably gonna be already dead. So, uh, anyways, go and take the point on over there if you got to. Time is money. You might have a lab's key card. Come on. Dude, I swear to God, if you tell me to take point like 13 or 14 more times, I'm out of here. Okay, hold it there. I'll show you how to loot a body. It's your first time after all.
I'm pretty sure I can handle rifling through somebody's pockets. No, 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 trust me. It's, uh, it's much better to have you on lookout right now. But <sighs> all I have is a shotgun. Yeah, and Rome wasn't built in a day, buddy, all right? Well, I trust you. Just give me a second here. We'll try to get out of here alive. Oh, look! Peas! Zach? Ah, oh, oh, beans. beans. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching the skit, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you also for doing the voodoo that you do down below. If you guys are having any trouble with any of the steps with this tutorial or something isn't working right with the VR setup and you can't figure it out, please feel free to drop by the Verse Discord where you can holler at me or anybody in the VR troubleshooting sections to help out. Uh, be sure to sign up for the headset that you own in the Roles tab uh, whenever you uh, join the Discord. That way we can figure out what headset that you own and ask other people of like setups. Anyways, thank you for all your support, and I'd like to remind you that the Discord is the biggest resource we have to help get as many different headsets and setups working as possible. So thank you for everybody else that has equipment that I don't own that is able to troubleshoot for me. And uh, with that being said, uh, on to the tutorial part of this video. Enjoy. To get Tarkov to work in VR, you are going to need to own Vorpex. Uh, links are down below in the description, uh, but basically you're going to have to purchase it if you don't already own it. I believe it is around 30 to $40 USD these days. This program turns 2D apps into 3D stereostropic ready VR. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to want to install it. You will need a code from the Vorpex website to be emailed you to install the app. Before we run it, we are going to want to mess with some settings in Tarkov's menus before we uh, try to get VR working. The first thing we need to adjust, though, is desktop settings for Windows. The way we are using Vorpex and how we are going to bypass the anti-cheat program is going to run the desktop viewer mode through Vorpex. We will not be using Vorpex's normal mode. This desktop mode hooks into your desktop instead of the game itself, so the anti-cheat won't get flagged. However, this is very resource intensive compared to the normal Vorpex method. So you're going to want to set your desktop to 1080p or 1440. Something that's nice and low resolution that you can work with. Any and all of these settings can be moved up and scaled later, but to get it running for the first time, just try to go as low as you can get it to go. No fancy high hertz or refresh rate settings or whatever. Try to get it as stock as possible. This will help out with the smoothness of how it runs in game and in headset. Uh, next, you're going to want to try to slim down to a single monitor as well, as this will help making it, making sure the game or Vorpex doesn't crash when alt tabbing or clicking off window slightly. You can try to run multi window, but I recommend getting it running on one monitor first. Next, we are going to want to run Tarkov and go to the video settings to mess with stuff inside of there. Okay, so when you get to the main menu, go to the settings, then you want to be in the game tab, go all the way down to FOV and set it to maximum. Keep note, Tarkov's FOV slider is vertical FOV, not horizontal like most games. Next, you're going to want to go to the graphics tab, and you're going to want to set your screen resolution to the same as you have it on your desktop, 1440p or 1080p. Screen mode set to borderless, uncheck vertical sync, and then uh, basically however you run the game best, any and all of this can be set to, and tweaked to make to basically get you the best FPS possible, you know, if you're running basically what you're currently running you should be able to do vr on top of it if you have a beefy enough pc i have settings all the way on high on everything because i'm just able to run it that way at 1440p so finally go to the controls tab and set up everything how you normally would except to have free look bound to something i put it to left control for lack of any other better keys to throw it on this is going to be what you want to hold down when you want to look left or right 
towards your shoulders. Otherwise, aiming and moving are both going to be done by the mouse and the head. If we were able to have this set to a toggle, then uh, yeah, we would have full VR mode ready to roll. Or if there is dual access of aiming and head tracking, but I digress. You will basically be moving your mouse to turn your body and your head to find control aim. This is going to take a bit to get used to, but so does Tarkov in VR. It kind of feels natural once you get the hang of it. Case in point, my first outing in VR at the factory. Insert clip here. What? 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 Why? Why is that? Okay, fine. Whatever. I don't know why that's showing up as a joystick button, but we got it to work. Oh, fuck! Someone threw a grenade. Uh, that's killer. He's healing. Bolato. Healing again. Let's Okay, that sucks. Oh god. Why have I done this? What's going on? What is happening in the world? Okay. Now that we have the game and desktop set up how we need it to run VR, we now need to run Vorpex and get it set up. So, you're going to want to double click on Start Vorpex, and if you already have it running, go to the bottom right, and show hidden icons, and double click on the Vorpex icon. On the left here, you're going to start normally on the start page. You're going to want to go to general and then go to the middle here. And then this drop down menu, select the VR headset that you have and are operating. Next, you're going to want to go to hand controller set to auto. And then if you own a headset that you are using that is different than the built in device, uh, leave this unchecked as well as if you're using mirroring in any shape or form and have audio going through windows and then to your headset. If you're using just the built-in audio and want to force it to your headset, check this box. After that, just hit apply and close. That should be all you need from Vorpex. Next, you're going to want to pause the watcher. That watcher is what normally hooks up into any app or window or EXE that opens, and it then tries to turn that app into 3D VR. So, with the watcher paused, we now want to click Start Vorpex Desktop Viewer. This will then turn on VR. Now, hit the middle mouse button immediately, and then you should be able to see around you a little bit easier. The first thing I'll have you do is hit the Delete menu, and then you will notice a Main Settings tab. I already have mine running in full VR, and I will swip, switch over and show you what all this stuff looks like now. Okay, so this is going to be a little trippy, folks, but bear with me. And then we'll get everything back up to snuff. <sighs> okay, so uh, once you get into De Vorpex desktop mode, I know this is really hard to film, but uh, just follow along with me. And when it's running, hit delete. And then you will see this menu here. You normally start out in cinema mode where you can look around in this high rise apartment loft thing. So what you want to do is with the main menu, delete button up in the main settings tab here, you're going to want to go play style cinema mode to full VR mode, then click more full VR tracking or more full VR settings. <sighs> Aspect ratio correction, pixel one to one. I have my zoom set to like 0.9 or so. That just basically almost fills up my headset completely. I have background to none, edge peak, background to none. You're gonna want to lock, edge peak lock to horizon, and then edge peak scale 0 0.40. And then on top of that, make sure you go over to head tracking settings and have head tracking on. 
then hit OK and save. So, reminder that all of the numbers and settings in this uh, video are just quick and easy reference numbers to get you up and going. Uh, everything in this video can be tweaked to make it run better on whatever headset or PC setup that you have. Uh, everyone is going to like it slightly different. Now, on to the last thing to teach you before you are off on your own and raiding in VR, the Edge Peak feature of Vorpex. Uh, hit the middle mouse button and you will notice that the borders of your image shrink and it, the image itself zooms out to where you could see the edges. This is called Edge Peak. Uh, you're going to want to use this feature whenever you are in the game and um, uh, trying to operate menus or loot or do anything that basically isn't moving and shooting. Uh, middle mouse button will just toggle this little feature on and off. And so, yeah, other than that, um, this is pretty much it. Once you are done, hit delete and remove the Vorpex menus and you should be off to the races. Uh, be sure to test everything out offline at something easy like factory and make sure you can operate in VR and move and shoot and loot using Edge Peak. Then turn on some bots and practice shooting. Uh, when you feel like joining the big leagues, take a, make that jump to a few scav runs before you try out your PMC. With luck, you'll be more immersed in Tarkov than ever before. Thank you guys so much for watching, and check me out on my Twitch channel live when I'm streaming. You'll catch me playing more Tarkov VR, and I hope to be the first VR player to get my Kappa container. So join along for the fun and help me out. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, till next time, stay safe and fly right. Okay, so a little bit of post-Tarkov VR credit footage. Uh, again, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'm going to show to you guys just how well you can do it with literally mouse keyboard in your lap, not even at your desktop. I have, like, very limited room to move here. But anyway, so, factory footage killing some scavs. This is offline mode. Alright, so... I think I have like 18 programs running and recording this, so it might be a little bit choppy, but I do have good frames normally when I'm streaming and playing. Um, to note, you can also always tweak video settings to make sure that everything smooths out and plays the way you want it. So, like, let's say I want to go loot this box. So, we hit middle mouse button, then hit F, and then I could look around my menus, out of the menu, middle mouse button, and now it's back to full zoom in VR. Okay, or Tagila can just head eyes us as soon as we cross the thing. All right, cool. So that's how you don't do that. Thanks for watching.